What's up, HasFit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a kettlebell workout. We're going to perform today's workout Tabata style. So that means we're going to do four back-to-back -back rounds of each exercise. That's 20 seconds of work, followed by 10 seconds of rest. While we'll be using a few different kettlebells today, this routine only requires one kettlebell. You can follow along with me for the standard moves. And you can follow me for some easier modifications. If you're ready to go, let's get this thing started. All right, we're getting started with the warm up. First one on today's list is a push pull plus butt kick. We're gonna get your heart rate up, gain a little extra mobility at the same time, and raise that overall body temperature. We're pushing out and then pulling back on the elbows, stepping side to side, bringing that heel back to your glute. This is a good one because we're warming up multiple body parts just here in this one move very efficient warm-up exercise making sure you're moving at a warm-up pace there'll be plenty of time in the workout to push it get nice controlled breathing going pulling back from those elbows this one's warming up those hamstrings quadriceps shoulders back and chest all at the same time Hitting this one for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, shake it loose. Next, we're gonna move into an opposite side toe touch. Arms are up overhead, feet are a little wider than shoulder width apart. We're gonna reach down and touch either opposite side toe, opposite side shin or knee, whatever you can reach. We got a slight bend in those knees and we're driving the hips back stretching that posterior chain, which is our hamstrings, our glutes, and our lower back. Stand up big and tall in between every repetition. And again, just moving at a warm up pace here. Try to keep your head in line with your spine. So that means you're not looking up as you go down, but instead keeping that head in line with your back. Feeling that stretch in the back of your legs and in your glutes as you're going down, trying to push that butt back behind you. Again, keep that nice, consistent breathing going. And let's do this one for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, you can choose between these two moves on the next one. I'm gonna do a faux jump rope, so I'm jumping up and down, light on the balls of my feet. And I'm just doing a simple run in place. If you wanna do the lower impact version, feel free to go with Claudia's move, or if you don't mind a little impact, you can do mine. Either. Or you can switch in between the two. That's it. Whatever feels most comfortable. And we encourage you to do that throughout today's routine, choosing which move works for you along the way. So that, so that may mean half the time you're doing my moves, other half the time you're doing Claudia's. That's right. Either way, stand light on the balls of your feet, making light ground contacts. If you have neighbors underneath you, we don't want them to hear you. Get that nice, consistent breathing going. Not much left on this last warm-up move. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. Warm up complete. It's showtime, ready to go? I'm ready. Let's Hope do you're it. ready out there. Go ahead and start with your one kettlebell. 
We're gonna start with a one arm swing. So feet are just a little bit wider than shoulder width. Toes are pointed out, slight bend in those knees. We're gonna hike the kettlebell between our legs as we drive those hips back and then forward, squeezing our glutes up at the top. So again, it's four rounds, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, and those 10 seconds of rest are gonna fly by. It's gonna be a good one. There. Let's get it going in three, two, one, zero. Hips back, hips forward. This one is all about using those hips as a hinge and not turning it into a squat. So we're almost trying to stretch that butt back to the wall behind us as we bend over, keeping our head in line with our spine. And three, two, one, and break. All right, go ahead and switch hands. We're gonna end up doing two sets on each side. Whew. Here Ready we go, go guys, here. in two, one, begin. So hips back, hips forward. Really focus on squeezing those glutes up at the top, standing up big and tall. Don't need to hyperextend and come back, but instead stand straight up, squeeze those glutes. That's right. Top. Don't feel like you need to hyperextend your lower back just to squeeze those glutes. That's it, make the glutes work. In three, two, one, Break. Excellent. Ooh. All right, two down, two to go. We're gonna get that heart rate up fast with this one. Yes, yes, I feel it. And three, two, one, begin. That's it. If any time during the course of today's workout, you need to switch up your weight, feel free to do so. You'll notice we're using a couple different kettlebell weights throughout. It really does Ooh. help just to give you some options. My glutes are burning already. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, it's always a good thing. <laughs> and three. Two, one, break. There it is, three down, one to go. Getting that pace going right from the start here, has been tried. All right, guys, here we go. In three, two, one, begin. Right into it. Squeeze those glutes up at the top, hips back, hips forward. Just maintaining that slight bend in the knee. Again, don't turn it into a squat on the way down, but instead, really using those hips as a hinge. And five, four, three, two, one, break. All right, cross that first one off the list. Next, we're moving into either a one leg stiff leg deadlift or a kickstand deadlift. Either way, we're starting in a kickstand stance. Feet are shoulder width apart, one foot is about one foot length back. I'm gonna bend over using my hips again as a hinge, keeping this leg straight, and then I'm gonna pull, standing straight back up. So for my variation, I'm just leaving my foot my right foot back, bending down into a stiff leg deadlift and coming right back up. You decide which variation is right for you, two on each side. Here we go. And three, two, one, begin. And while we are trying to get as many reps in as we can in a lot of time period, we want you to maintain control throughout. That's right. So only do so as you can do it safely and maintaining proper form. That's right, it's all about good form. Feel that stretch in the back of your leg and then squeeze the glutes Three, up to the top. Three, two, one, and break. All right, we're gonna switch sides now. Same setup, just go ahead and flip it. All right, guys. Not much downtime. Beginning here in three, two, one, begin. Either way, we're keeping a slight bend in that lead leg and the, the knee of that lead leg, I should say stretching that hamstrings and the glutes, and then squeezing them as you come up top. So notice I'm squeezing right here in this position. Again, we definitely don't want to see you hyperextending that lumbar, lower back region. And two, one, break. Excellent, all right, switching it up. That's two down, two to go. And I already have a little sweat going, which is probably not surprising. I totally have a sweat. All right, guys, in two, one, begin. Nobody's surprised by that. No, that's true. Nobody who's been here for a while. Uh, <laughs> keeping your back straight, head stays in line with your spine. Focus on that tight core. You got that hamstring, glute, lower back, and all three, working together. Two, one, and break. All right, that's one more. Three down, one to go. See how fast these go? That's it, that's why I like the Tabatas. They just keep it moving. All right, beginning in two, one, begin. All right, right into it. 
and you may find that one leg is a little better at these than the other. And that's all right. That's why we're here practicing. It's a great unilateral move to balance out any imbalances that you may have. All right, guys, not much longer. In three, two, one, and break. All right, we're gonna move on to an upper body next. Two hands at a time. We're gonna do a kettlebell press. So go ahead and grab that kettlebell with a catcher's grip. Feet shoulder width apart, it's all upper body. Going straight up, pressing overhead. Bring it all the way back down. We don't want to get your legs involved at all in this one. Just all shoulders, chest, and triceps. Strict press. Here we are in three, two, one, begin. And again, it's 20 seconds, getting as many repetitions in as you can. And you can choose if you want to go a little heavier on this one and get less reps, or go lighter and go for more a high rep range. Totally up to you. Three. Make this work out your own. Two, one, break. Ooh, I'm gonna set it down for 10 seconds here. <laughs> Shoulders right. are gonna feel it. I know, you can use that 10 second break if you can. All right guys, and two, one, begin. All right, right into it. One down, three to go. Our chest, shoulders, and triceps are going to feel this one at the end. Bringing those biceps by the ears. That's it. Trying to extend those arms straight up, testing that mobility along the way. And three, two, one, break. That's it. Two down, two to go. Shake them out if you need to. Making sure to breathe. Don't hold your breath. All right, guys. Starting again in two, one, begin. All right into it. Two down, Ooh. two to go. Come on. Let's crank them out. It's that time of the workout here where we're getting into the flow. And it becomes so important that you remind yourself what brought you here today to begin with. What is it? What are you working towards? In three, two, one, and break. Oh, Ooh. goodness, last my one. My shoulders are <laughs> on fire. Feels good though, I like it. All right, here we go. In two, one, begin, last one. Learning to love that burn. Also, recognizing that burn is just lactic acid. It's just that muscle fuel that your muscles are using. It creates that nerve burning response, but you don't have to listen to that burn. Push through it. Right and here. two, one, and break. Oh, excellent. All right, moving on from that upper body move right into a lower body move. We're going to do a goblet squat jump or a goblet squat, grabbing onto the outside of the handles, feet shoulder width apart, weight back in the hips, then break at the knee. Now I'm going to jump. And I am just doing the straight up goblet squat, skipping the jump. You decide which variation is right for you. Either way, let's get those Ooh. legs working here. And three, two, one, begin. Making sure to break at the hips first and then bend at the knee. How many can you get? When you're down there at the bottom, you want your feet to be flat. Making sure to breathe. Don't hold your breath on this one. Keeping those knees out. One right into the next. And three, two, one, break. That's it. Whew, my legs are burning after the first one. All right, here we go. One down, three, two, go. All right, guys, starting again in two, one, begin. And if you start with one variation and you want to switch it up and move on to the other, feel free to do so. Again, making this workout work for you. Whew. Keeping those knees out on the squat. Keeping our head up and our chest up. And two, one, break. All right, that's Ooh, two goodness. down, two to go. Whew. Quads are burning, I yes. like it. Here right, we go. Guys. And two. One, begin. Head up, chest up. One rep right into the next. When your legs get tired, time to squat with your heart. Remind yourself, what brought you here today? What is it? What are you working towards, Aspect Drive? Come on, keep it going. And three, two, one, and break. Three down, one to go. Shake those legs loose. You got this, come on. It's all mental right now. All right, guys, and begin. Last one. Remember, those who think they can and those who think they can't are both right. Which one are you? Right here, fighting to the end. Come on, finish this last set strong. Almost there, almost there. Not much longer. And three, two, 
one, and stop. Ah, all right. Ooh. We're gonna give those legs a break. <sighs> and we're gonna move to the floor for the next one. We're gonna do a upper body plus abdominal combo move. Feet are down flat on the ground. Go ahead and put that kettlebell in a rack position. We're gonna do a ch kettlebell chest press and then either, either an overhead sit up all the way up. Or you're just gonna do a crunch like me and just bring your shoulder blades up off the ground and right back down. You decide which variation's right for you. But here we go, let's get it moving. Three, two, one, zero. Again, either coming all the way up on that full sit up or stopping and just bring your shoulder blades up off the ground. And if you're doing my variation, you wanna make sure that you're keeping that lower back on the ground. You can always bring your chin to your chest to help you with that. And two, one, break. Okay, switching sides now. Get that first arm a break. Not much of one. No, here we go, guys. In two, one, begin. Moving right in from that press into your either sit up or crunch. Using that momentum with your abs. It is on purpose. Nice big power push. Trying to keep your feet flat on the ground. And break. All right. Switching opposite side now. Let's try not to slide across the room here. All right, guys, and breaks over in two, one, begin. All right, let's go, come on. Grind it out, everybody. You got it, you got it. One rep into the next. You're a machine, you got this. Can't be stopped. Can't stop, won't stop, right here. And two, one, break. Ah, excellent. Woo, last one. Three down, one Goes to go. Goes by so fast. Come on. Here we go. My quads and are still two, burning. One, go. All right. <sighs> Whew. Make sure to engage those abs. Keep them nice and tight as you come up. Excellent. Not much longer, guys. You got about 10 more seconds. This one's working your abs, shoulders, triceps, and chest all working together. Three, two, one. Break. Excellent. Oh. All right, and we're back up onto our feet for the next one. Moving into either a kettlebell snatch or high pull. Either way, feet are shoulder width apart, slight bend in those knees. Starting from a hang, drive the hips back, kettlebell down, hips forward, elbow high, and I'm gonna punch through and overhead. And I'm actually just going to do a snatch to a high pull where I'm pulling back on my elbows and bringing the kettlebell to about chest level using all of the power in my hips. You decide which variation's right for you. Again, half and half on each side. Let's get it moving, tribe. In three, two, one, and begin. Hips back, hips forward. No matter which variation you're doing, really all in those hips and then pulling up on that elbow if you're doing the full snatch variation trying to punch up and through that kettlebell so it doesn't flop over and nail you on the wrist and again with the high pull pulling back from your elbows and stop all right switching sides just a quick 10 seconds here to catch your breath all Ooh, right guys in right three two one Again. Hips forward, hips back. Again, it's all in those hips. Woo. The full snatches definitely takes some more coordination and practice. Pulling up from that elbow, flipping over, driving through that kettlebell. Not much longer. And three, two, one, break. All right, here we go. Two down, two to go. This one requires a lot of power. Yeah, it does. It does, here we go in three, two, one, begin. That's it, one rep right into the next. After you get into a groove, just keep it moving. Driving those hips forward, and that's how you're getting that power to get that kettlebell up. All right guys, not much longer. In three, two, one, break. All right, there one we go, more. three down, one to go. Ooh. Come on, you got it, you made it this far. Finish this last one strong right here. All right, guys, here we go in two, one, begin. That's it, Whew. big power. You're a power factory, that's it. Power factory, I like that. You're the mitochondria, let's do it. 
For all of you science nerds out there, pull up on that elbow and flip it. Come on. Here we go. In three, two, one, break. Ah, excellent. Or oh. right, I'm going to lighten my load a little bit for this next one. We're going to do a reverse lunge plus curl or a split squat plus curl. I'm going to start with my feet shoulder width apart. And I'm going to step back into a reverse lunge curl back up and i am going to be in a split squat stance the entire time so we're going to do equal amount of time on each leg you decide which variation is right for you let's get it moving in three two one begin nice combo move here either move you're dropping straight down trying to get both knees to a 90 degree angle before you come back up try your best not to Bounce that back knee off the ground. Here we go. Three, two, one, and break. So I'm switching up legs here. Switching it up. Get that one arm a break. The other one's going to work. All right. Three, two, one, begin. This one's going to work your hamstrings, your quadriceps, your glutes, biceps, forearms, and abs, all working together to make this one happen. Great compound. Efficient, functional move. Not much longer, guys. And three, two, one, break. That's right. it. Two down, two to go. A couple of deep breaths here, guys. You got it, you got it. And two, one, begin. Keep cranking them out. Crank them out. How many can you get? Remind yourself what brought you here today. What are you working towards? What's it going to take to achieve that goal? Every repetition is getting you just that much closer to it. Climbing that ladder to success right here. And break. Excellent. Whew. Three down, one to go. One to go. Come on, Hesper, try to stay it. strong. And two, one, begin. Here we go, last one. Come on, make a count. How many can you get right here? It's you versus you. You're not in competition with us. You're just trying to get a little bit better than you were yesterday. Almost done. In five, four, three, two, one, and break. Excellent. Okay, next one we're going to do is a ribbon. Let's go ahead and grab that kettlebell on both sides and a catcher's grip. Feet are shoulder width apart. Let's stay or start with the kettlebell on our left side. Where we're going to bring that kettlebell up and across into a halo overhead. Now to the right side. Twist those abs and reverse it overhead. Twist those abs. Twist those abs, getting our core involved, using our hips and shoulders. Let's get it cranking here. And three, two, one, begin. Working your shoulders, triceps, biceps, forearms, abs, and even some legs involved. Might take a couple of repetitions to get into the rhythm, but really engage that core. Three, two, one, Break. Excellent. Okay. Ooh. One down, three to go. I'm actually going to start from the opposite side this time. It's a good idea. Making sure to breathe throughout. Come and on. And two, one, begin. Come on. Get it cranking, everybody. How many can you get in this 20 second time period? One rep right into the next. Come on. What brought you here today? Focus on it. Three, two, one and break. All right, here we go. This one's halfway done. Messing up my, microfo my microphone over here. All right. <laughs> two down, two to go. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Come on. Right here, everybody. We're right there with you, feeling the burn. Our shoulders, legs, abs, all feeling the same way yours do. We're in it together. Much longer, guys. Not much longer. Come on. Don't give up. Keep moving. Two. One and break. Ah, that's it. Oh. This one's going by fast. Here Three, we are. One more to go. Is that it? That's it. Oh Already. Come on. <sighs> Three down. One to go. You got Two. this. Two. One. Let's go. Come on. 20 seconds. You're a fighter, not a quitter. Prove it to yourself right here. What do you got? Don't, don't hit that pause button. Whatever you do, if you got to lower the weight, drop the weight, that's fine. Just keep moving. And two, one, and break. All right. Whew. We got another total body move coming your way next. Whew. We're gonna do a thruster. Start with that one kettlebell 
in a rack position, feet are shoulder width apart. Weight back in the hips, performing a squat. And as we stand up, we're gonna twist that hand, press straight overhead, reverse it, and into the neck. It's basically one right after the other. That's it. One is loading the next one. Here it is, you know what time it is. Getting it ready in three, two, one, begin. This one's gonna burn out your quads, hamstrings, glutes, abs, shoulders, triceps, all working together to make this one happen. Ooh. Breathing in on the way down, exhaling, breathing out on the way up. Come on, there it is. And three, two, one, break. Fighting through oh that God. burn right here. I have to say, I love this one, but I also don't like it. Love, hate relationship. <laughs> We're right there with you, Claudia. All right, and three, two, one. Get it going, guys, let's go. Making sure to keep those feet flat. You don't want to come forward onto your toes as you perform that squat. Putting that weight back in your hips every time. Keep your knees out on the squat. Don't allow them to cave in. Almost there, Two, almost there. One, break. Ah. Oh gosh. Whew. I'm burning. Feeling burn so good. Burn, burn so up. good. All right, right guys, here. in two, one, begin. Come on. Make it count, everybody. Pushing through. I'm fighting with you. Pushing yourself because nobody else can or will do it for you. Nobody wants it as bad as you do, that's for sure. That's it. And it's not about how bad you want it. It's about how hard you're willing to that's work That's right. For. Two, one, break. All right. Oh my gosh. Three down, one to go. You got this. Come on. Pushing through. Make sure the pep talk. Come on, you're a fighter, not Two, a quitter. Let's see. One, begin. Come on. Right to the end. Finish strong. Don't stop when it hurts. Stop when you're done. Let's see it, Hasfit Tribe. Where are you at? Right here. Come on. In it together. Keep it moving. Don't stop. Don't stop. Almost done. Three, two, one, break. Ah, excellent. <sighs> All right, next we're moving into a move for your back. I'm gonna switch up my weight on this one. We're gonna do a staggered single arm row. So feet are shoulder width apart, one leg back, opposite arm on your hip, bent over at a 45 degree angle. Pull back from that elbow, squeezing your back up at the top. Half and half on each side, here we go. And three, two, one, begin. Keep your shoulders nice and square. Abs stay tight, back is straight. Pull back on that elbow on every rep. Don't pull back from your hand, but act like somebody has a string attached to that elbow and you're pulling back on it. And three, two, one, and break. Good. And even though this is a move for your back, good chance you're gonna feel it in your legs as well. And three, two, one, begin. Excellent, pulling back on that elbow squeezing your back on every repetition. And when you're pulling back with your elbow, make sure you keep your shoulders nice and square. You definitely don't want to pull it with momentum. Yep, more of an isolation move on that back, getting those lats to fire. And two, one, break. Excellent, Ooh. two down, two to go here. <sighs> if you need to switch up your weight, do so. Otherwise, right back into it. Yep, and begin. Making sure to breathe. Nice, consistent breathing. Breathing in as that, lo that dumbbell lowers, I'm sorry, kettlebell lowers, and then breathing out as you pull. Not much longer, guys. Two, one, break. All right, feeling this one. Three down, one to go. Gonna work your back and your biceps. Come on, here it is. Finish All strong, right, everybody. and two, one, begin. Let's get it moving, come on. Keep that pace up. Give it everything you got right here. Don't stop when it hurts. Stop when you're all done. Fighting to that finish line. You got it, you got it, come on. Keep moving, keep In breathing. Three, two, one, break. Excellent, okay. Ah. We're moving to the floor for the next one. We're gonna work on that core. Moving into a Russian twist. Sitting down on your backsides. We're gonna start with your feet out in front of you. 
We're gonna lean back on a 45 degree angle. I'm gonna do this one with my feet up. And I'm gonna leave my feet down. And we're twisting side to side, rotating at that core. So this one's not just about moving your upper body back and forth, but actually rotate at your core. Yep. All right, here we are. Come on, keep that energy up. And three, two, one, zero. Again, you decide if you want your feet down, feet up, or you can even make it harder and do a bicycle at the same time. You decide which variation is right for you today. Making sure you're staying lean back on that 45 throughout the move. And two, one, break. Excellent. Ooh. The two ways that you'll cheat and you shouldn't are by sitting up and just by moving your hands. Make sure you're back and rotating at your core. And begin. Come on, one right into the next. And if your abs are done with holding that kettlebell, you can always set the kettlebell down and just keep up the twist. Or set your feet down and move to an easier variation. You decide what's right for you, but keep moving. And break. Excellent. Oh. Two down, two to go. Can you tell we're feeling this no. one too? <laughs> Come on, we're right there like with that. you. Let's go, on, let's finish strong. Ready for this to be over and begin. Come on. Right there, fighting with you. No secret magic pills, no shortcuts. Just got to put in the work. Rep after rep. And that's what we're doing right here. Come on, keep it moving. And two, one, break. Ah. Only one more. We're so close. Come on. Let's finish this one strong, Hasfit Tribe. And two, one, begin. Last 20 seconds. Making sure to breathe. Whatever you do, do not hold your breath. Come on, finish strong. Fight, fight, fight. We're right there with you. Almost there. Come on. Let's go, let's go. In five, four, three, two, one, zero. And that is it. You made it, has the tribe. That is all he wrote. Show you some love. Ugh, show you some love out there. All right, we're gonna move into a cool down. We're gonna allow your heart rate to come down slowly. At the same time, we're gonna gain a little bit of mobility and flexibility. You can stay down on the ground. Stay thankfully. where you're at. <laughs> we're gonna do a lying angel. So we're gonna keep your feet flat on the ground. We're gonna extend your arms the best you can straight up overhead. Now we're gonna pull down on those elbows, trying to keep your hands, upper arms and elbows all on the ground at the same time. Far down as you can, and then reverse it. Extend straight up overhead. We're trying to keep our arms, our head, upper back and lower back all flat on the ground. This one will really expose any weaknesses and mobility you may have from your back to your shoulders. Trying your best to keep everything on the ground as you drag those hands and arms, pulling down on your elbows. Nice and controlled movements. Not a race on this one, the race is all done. Taking some nice big deep breaths along the way. Our shoulders got a lot of work in today and this is a great recovery move for them. It's a great one to do just any time. Also great for improving your posture. If you spend a lot of time hunched over at a desk, looking at your phone, driving, etc. Great one to help you regain that upright posture. And don't be surprised if one arm is a little more flexible than the other. Very common. Trying to finish every time straight up overhead. Working through any little kinks you may have. Keeping it moving here. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent, okay. Next we're gonna do a knee to chest. So go ahead and start with both legs out straight. We're gonna bring one knee up, go ahead and pull on that one knee, keeping your opposite side leg down flat. Pull back on that knee, stretching as far as you can comfortably. And on any of these static stretches, you're trying to go to about 85, 90% of what you're capable of. Feel a good stretch, but you don't want to induce any real pain. Just pulling back. This one's great to loosen up your lower back, hips, glutes, all at the same time. 
Again, trying to keep that opposite side leg flat. Now we're gonna transition into a lying knee crossover. Take that same side knee, and now we're gonna pull it across and back at the same time. Trying to keep your upper back flat on the ground as you do so. Hope you guys didn't hear all those pops from oh, the I back. I heard a major crack from <laughs> Claudia. Something's working over there. And that's totally common. Again, that's another great one for your hips and lower back. Pulling back. Also a good one if you experience any sciatic pain up here in your piriformis. Oh yeah, that'll you'll really feel it there. Stretching that hip. Just hold and breathe. Concentrate on bringing that heart rate down. And return that leg back to the floor. Okay, same move, opposite side now. Let's go ahead and start with just bringing that knee up, knee to your chest, or the best you can. If the best you can is here, or you need to sit up and pull it here, that's okay too. Again, I encourage you to make this move your own. Just keep that opposite side leg flat. If you start bringing that opposite side leg up, it really eliminates the stretch. So try your best to keep it straight and flat on the ground. Nice, big, deep breaths. Good opportunity here to just take a second and be proud of what you've achieved so far today. If working out were easy, everybody be fit. You know, I say it all the time, but it, it bears repeating. This is a big deal that you keep showing up and putting in the work. It's hard. It never gets easier. You just get better at it. Let's pull that same side knee across. If again, feeling that stretch in your hips. Everybody wants to hear that, well, after you get into the groove, it's just easy and it takes over. You know, I'm not nope. here to, we're not here to lie to you. I've been at it for a long time. It still always takes some extra motivation to get moving. But you're here and you're putting in the work. That means something. Big deep breaths here for five, four, three, two, one, zero, and return. Okay, you can go ahead and sit up to start the next one. We're gonna move into a sprinter stretch. So now we're gonna stretch out those quadriceps. I'm gonna show you a couple different variations on this one. Starting with this, the easiest version, which is just to bring that leg back and you can stay upright. Now, the more you lean back, the harder it will get. Or if you need more stretch, you can tuck that leg underneath, like Claudia is gonna show you, and then lean back. Or you can go all the way down to the floor. And you decide which variation is right for you today. Our quads got a lot of work in today, so do what feels right, what feels good. Don't do something that's gonna hurt you. It's just not worth it. Nope, which is why I came back up. <laughs> <laughs> Usually at like the start of a workout, I can <laughs> go down a little further. By the end, a little no, tighter. I'm good. Yeah, we're good. And that's what it's all about, is knowing your own limitations. None of us are perfect. We're here just putting in the work, trying to get a little bit better every day. And we're all gonna have our own strengths and weaknesses. Just putting in the work to get better at those weaknesses and not ignoring them. Flexibility is definitely a weakness for me, so something I'm gonna work on. And let's go ahead and sit up in three, two, one, switching sides. Well, you know, it's, it, sometimes it can get easier. Go ahead and switch sides, opposite side leg. It can be easier to, to get motivated to do the actual workout, but for a lot of us, it takes some extra patience to put in the, the flexibility and the mobility work. But it's just so important, so important not to overlook. You know, that's how those chronic injuries happen. and Chronic pains. Chronic pains. Oh, my hip hurts, my knees hurt, my shoulders hurt, and I don't know why. Well, I work out all the time. Well, you may work out, but you may not be doing the recovery aspect, so. I experienced most of that when I was a runner. Yep, very true, very common. I was, oh, my hips were always in pain, or my knees were in pain. That's because it's so easy as a runner just to get out and hit the road, yeah. start running, and come back and be done. But, yeah. You know, not really putting in the mobility yeah, work along with it. Yeah, definitely not. I'm just holding this one here for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Sitting up. And that's it. We made it. Oh my goodness. Oh, touch and go there for a little bit. Sure the heck was. <laughs> <laughs> nice work out there. Thank you so much for working and pushing through with us. We really enjoyed it uh, working out with you today. Please support our mission of keeping these great workouts free by downloading our app, 
You can also pick up some gear, a has fit shirt at our shop or by purchasing my book, Stay Fit for Life. If you enjoyed this workout routine with us today, we ask that you give this video a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss another brand new workout from HasFit. Again, thank you so much for giving us the privilege of working out with you today. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.